wheel drive, four wheel drive, or these tacos, you know we all want to drive. This is your all terrain nation, and uh, today is officially Taco Day. The 2024 Toyota Tacoma is here, and uh, a lot of people are rejoicing. Now, there were some sneaky photos that got out uh, earlier, and um, you know, is what it is, unfortunately. But uh, we've got a, uh, a press release now, and we can talk about this thing and talk about it. We will now. This press release is like a mile long. There's no way to cover everything in this. So I'm going to hit some of the highlights of this, and hopefully, uh, hopefully, it's a vehicle you're interested in because I think I think Toyota has done really well at what they've uh, they've accomplished here. Because for one, you're getting a manual transmission. You're still getting hybrid, uh, the iForce Max hybrid system in this thing, so that's pretty cool. And uh, you know, it's Toyota, so you know the thing is going to last. So first up, let's talk about after nearly two decades as the champion of the midsize pickup truck market the toyota tacoma is ready for the next chapter this go anywhere truck is entirely new for 2024 with epic adventure in mind toyota knows epic adventure because the overlander guys just they just love this thing so improving upon every winning aspect that is made it fires for years along with the toyota's legendary quality and durability the reliability and much more so toyota they know they're saying hey we know right now we know exactly who we are how badass we are and uh we we uh we dominate this segment and uh dominate they do because toyota's north american based design center located in newport beach california and ann arbor michigan led the design efforts for the new tacoma that's a big deal because usually toyota japan likes to have their hand in it and slowly they're allowing toyota america to have more of a say in the american style trucks now we know it's going to be on the global platform that they have developed for you know the helix is going to get the same platform now as the what the tundra gets so we know that they've uh they've given some like parameters here's what you got to work with but uh, i'm happy to see that they've allowed them to kind of kind of have their say a little bit now as far as uh, a couple of the numbers the biggest one that i can see so far is the max towing of 6500 pounds now we do know that the Ford Ranger, which I was at the press event a couple weeks ago, the Ford Ranger is, uh, I believe, about seventy five hundred pounds. So got you there. But I think the numbers that you're about to hear are going to uh, kind of sway you maybe to the uh, to the fences for Toyota because you got seventeen hundred ninety pounds, uh, seventeen hundred and nine pounds of payload on the uh, TRD off-road, which helps make towing a breeze, according to Toyota. The Tacoma is available in a variety of supporting features, including trailer brake controller trailer backup guide and digital display mirror the trailer backup guidance aids in the overall maneuvering of the vehicle and available with the site path assist feature designed to help your truck and trailer back up in a straight line the available 360 degree cameras created over the top down view which is i like that view quite a bit uh, to aid the overall visibility, including those tough to see areas around the truck and trailer. When operating with Toyota's integrated trailer brake controller, the blind spot monitoring is designed or designed to recognize and the blind spots not only for the truck but certain trailers as well. Which that's a big deal. People like to tow with their uh, they like to tow with their midsize trucks, even though I think sometimes people overdo it with their midsize trucks. But they do actually like to tow with these things. So they've uh, they've answered what Ford was complaining with their Ranger. Rangers got a lot of cool tow features. So uh for uh, you know the uh they said hey Ford, we got you, we got you covered. Get into the iForce Max because that's that's what the that's we've all kind of seen the truck, but we haven't known kind of uh what our options were gonna be with it. So there was a lot of speculation going around that it was gonna get the 2.4 liter uh turbocharged engine, and it looks like it's gonna get that. So the 2.4 liter turbocharged four-cylinder entry level. In the SR grades, is going to be 228 horsepower and 243 foot-pounds of torque. All other grade output is increased to 278 and 317 foot-pounds of torque when paired with the new 8-speed electronically controlled automatic transmission. Enthusiasts will rejoice, though. This is the big one. We'll rejoice with the 6-speed intelligent, if I could say it right, manually uh, manual transmission, the IMT. Two is an automatic rev matching, which rev matching is a huge deal. I like that feature a lot in the sports cars. Uh, and anti-stall technology is available. The manual transmission model produces 270 horsepower and 310 foot-pounds of torque. Now, from best I can tell from this press release, <clears throat> you're not going to get a manual transmission with the uh, the iForce Max. So if you were hoping to get all the horses out of that thing, plus, plus the shifty shifties, we're probably out of luck on that one. New to the mid-size body-on-frame pickup segment is Toyota's Tacoma's 
iForce Max hybrid powertrain, the most powerful powertrain ever offered on a Tacoma. Available on TRD Sport, TRD Off-Road Limited, and standard on the TRD Pro and Trail Hunters. Trail Hunter, that's pretty badass. The iForce Max pairs the 2.4 liter engine with the uh, a 48 horsepower electric motor integrated into the 8-speed automatic transmission. So if I remember right with Tundra, it's between the bell housing and the engine is where they, they install that. The 1.87 kilowatt battery pack creates a total system output of 326 horsepower and a whopping 465 foot pounds of torque now we do know that ford with their 2.7 liter uh, twin turbo v6 is going to make 315 horsepower and i believe 430 is the torque number they're killing that number and people with the last generation truck Toyota still didn't come out with the most horsepower at the time. They were kind of weak with their numbers uh, or or just barely at the acceptable benchmark for that. And now they've they've pushed everybody's benchmark way ahead, which is pretty badass. Uh, they're doubling the torque output, according to them, of their last truck, the last V6 engine, which is really cool. Now, it does say the economy numbers will not be out till later this year, which means they're just waiting. They're probably testing night right now with the EPA. So uh, we will get those when the truck becomes available to order. Tacoma's with the rear wheel drive feature and automatic limited slip, the uh, auto S LSD and four wheel drive models have an electronically controlled two-speed transfer case, which is a big deal with a high and low range, active traction standard on the TRD pre-runner, TRD off-road, and TRD pro, and as well as the trail hunter grade, the new and luxurious. The limited grades now feature a four-wheel, full-time four-wheel drive system with center locking rear differential on the iForce Max models. The one thing I've seen in comments more than anything besides the AC vents that Ford didn't put in the truck, the fact that no, that I know of, I haven't, Ford hasn't given us a full detail of their press release on the Ranger, but I haven't seen automatic uh, or four all time four wheel drive. And uh, Toyota is answering that in their press release, which their press release for this, I have to say, is pretty badass. I like it a lot. Toyota's legendary off road capabilities, those have been taken to the next level in the next generation, making the ultimate adventure machine. The all new available front stabilizer disconnect increases flex and put at a push button. That is badass. We do know that the Ford Bronco has the uh, the disconnect. Jeep has a version of it, though it's a older school, not as capable version of their sway bar disconnect for the front. But this is pretty wicked that push of a button. They have that in the pickup truck. So definitely, you know, Toyota owns this segment. But they're paying attention to what other people are doing in this segment or in the trucks in general. And like, hey, let's let's cherry pick from that a little bit. So the fact that they're going to do that, the sway bar disconnect in the uh, off-road trucks, that is pretty freaking wicked. I must say that is uh, pretty bad. Uh, Toyota has the uh, 33.8 degree approach angle, 23.5 degree breakover, and 25.7 degree departure angles on the TRD Pro without the tow package. So if you want the tow package, which I would suggest getting, it's not going to hurt your, your your breakover point that bad, so I wouldn't I wouldn't worry too much about it. The multi terrain select now is now uh, functional in both four wheel high and low, offers adjustable settings to help control wheel speed on a variety of terrains such as mud, dirt, sand. Um, you know that's pretty badass and rocks. Toyota also adopts the in new and significantly acquired or crawl control feature, which the last press event I was at a Toyota they touted the hey crawl control function hey it's quieter now uh with the sequoia so i i don't recall ever uh, uh hearing that it was loud but maybe it was to people i'd never heard anybody complain about it when traction is extremely limited you're going to get available electronically activated electronic or rear locker uh it's going to help split the power 50 50 to the rear wheels downhill assist control is another off-road feature available to help drivers navigate those uh those crazy terrains now let's see the new trail hunter go far trail hunters have been a big deal we knew obviously we've seen the teasers that they've done that it was coming but we didn't know too much about it. So Toyota introduces the new all new Trail Hunter grade to the lineup of rugged Toyota trucks. Toyota has long been uh, the top choice for overlanders due to its legendary, legendary quality and durability and reliability. And now enthusiasts can get a factory developed overlander straight from Toyota. Now, the cool thing about this is they didn't just like pluck some parts from from ARB. They co-developed this vehicle with ARB, which is that's pretty pretty freaking uh badass so to help bring trail hunter to life toyota worked with the uh renowned australian based arb to co-develop old man emu oe or ome position sensitive 2.5 inch forged monotube shocks with rear external piggyback style remote reservoirs with a steel bumper 
which uh, we'll see that steel bumper there. A robust rear recovery points and bed utility bar with a removable molly panel uh, racks. So that's pretty nice. Those on the side there, you can see you can pull those off. ARB Engineering even worked with on site with Toyota alongside the project development team to co develop the Trail Hunter. So once again, that's pretty badass. With either a five foot or six foot bed, double cab configurations available, serious overlanders can take their Trail Hunters to the next level. Available light or heavy-duty versions with full ARB bed racks to support additional gear like rooftop tents, canopies, and camp showers. So Toyota, they've owned the overlanding segment for a long time. There's other there's other brands out there that have teased a little bit of things they want to do with it, but Toyota is like all in with it. And that's pretty badass that they're willing to uh, go all in with that. Now, one thing I they're doing that I'm kind of disappointed is they're not going to offer a 35-inch tire where some of their other competitors are kind of doing that. Chevrolet, I'm looking at you. With the ZR2 package, uh, the Bison, they're not going to do that with this. And it looks like they're going to stick with the Goodyear 33 inch tires. But having talked with people in uh, Toyota engineering over there, they're like, the first thing we get dinged with if you put an aggressive tire on there is road noise. Like, we don't want that. Uh, we know that you're probably going to put your brand of choice tire on there anyway. So uh, let, let you do that. We'll put a reasonable tire on there. If you want to go extreme, go extreme. There's a lot to this thing. And the news is going to keep coming as we keep going. But, uh, I, there's a few things I want to I want to talk about. The interior of this truck is pretty wicked. I like the layout of it. I like that there's no glossy glossy trim to this thing. You know, it, it's pretty rugged looking. It's going to take a beating and keep on ticking. The center stack of that thing is uh, Toyota has a nice nice font they use, and it's always crisp. So when you're looking at it, it's really HD look. You're getting that big 14 inch screen in that thing, which is we figured that was coming, but was it going to be too big for the little truck? I don't know. Uh, it looks really good in this truck, though. But you're going to get all the cool wireless chargings. You know, all the packages will have different things you can get. But uh, overall, I like the interior of this truck. I like how they've brought a little couple features from the uh, Tundra into this, like the armrests and stuff on the side of the uh, doors. That looks pretty cool. And uh, I like the fact, too, that they're going to do something for everybody. A Tacoma for everybody, as they say. Tacoma will now be offered in numerous grades, configurations for the new generation. Two cab styles are available with either a five foot, six foot bed a four-door double cab, and a new two-door extra cab with extra storage features behind the two seats. Now, they're not putting seats behind there, so you used to the old king cabs, what they're calling the extra cab. There's no seats back there because I have a feeling for crash testing, safety, stuff like that, it would probably ding them. But they're giving you the option of, like, an ARB fridge would go perfect back there. But the problem is, there's no doors to that. It's a solid, it's a solid, like, old school. They're going back to the 90s with this, which is crazy. That no door handles, you know, but they're going to make it to where the front seat, the driver's seat slides pretty far up. So if you need to get back there to get stuff, that's uh, going to be possible. So we do know they're going to have all kinds of safety features on this. The uh, safety sense 3.0. So you're going to get pre-collision. You're going to get lane departure, full speed range, dynamic radar cruise control, roadside assist, which I like it. And I'm glad that uh, this is standard. I like that they didn't put it in a package like GM's going to do with theirs. And, oh, if you want to pay for it, you can have that. But you're going to get uh, automatic high beams and proactive driving assist, which is uh, I think you're going to see a lot of cool things come out with that driving assist. Beyond, you know, beyond all this, these these trucks just look great. There's I, I can't say enough about it. I like the fact that they did for the TRD pros and the uh, the trail hunters. They've they plucked some off road, real aftermarket off road stuff to put on these trucks that you can buy straight from Toyota. You know, the trail hunter, uh, it's probably not for me. But I like the fact that the snorkel looks great. It's not just some big sticking out thing. It's just kind of like, what the hell is that sticking up in the air? Ruining your fuel economy, by the way. But you can get uh, nice racks for the back of that thing. Look, in Toyota quality, you know this is going to be good stuff. The interior of this thing, like the TRD Sport with the uh, kind of painted interior is fun. The little grab handle for the passenger there on the side. I don't know about that. I, I'm I, I'm not a big fan of that. But hey, you know, I'm happy that Toyota's taking some chances like that. Dual exhaust option that's pretty freaking cool uh the limited looks very very classy nice leather seats in that it looks like you're going to get a heated and cooled seats in that so that's pretty badass uh overall though this thing is going to be wicked i'm i'm i can't say enough about it i can't wait to maybe do some time in one of these things it doesn't say when they're going to come out but i think they're going to over the summer keep keep releasing information i think at some point toyota dealerships uh late summer will be able to put your order in maybe into fall and i would say by the end of the year you'll be able to order one of these things now there's nothing official about the order dates or any of that just yet that's just the way i've seen them do with the tundra kind of their their 
operating procedures for that truck. So I have a feeling this one's going to kind of go down the same path. So in the comments below, let me know what you think about this thing. Once again, there's other channels out there going to do a great big deep dive. You guys know I'm big into off-roading, so I'm very excited to see these packages work out. I Hopefully you guys are too. Hopefully uh, the idea, I know a lot of people wanted the manual transmission with the big engine or with the big uh, hybrid setup. Probably not going to happen, but it's nice the fact that they are actually offering a manual transmission because, you know, this day and age, a lot of people, they want to shift and you can't shift your vehicle. So in the comments below, let me know what you think of this. So whether it be two-wheel drive, four-wheel drive, or these badass tacos, you know I'm going to drive. It's been your all-terrain nation. This has been your first look at the new Toyota Tacoma. And uh, I'm pretty pumped. Peace.